it too like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea. Okay, so I'm just happy to finally get a chance to meet you and chop it up with you, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all, how you been, brother? Man, it's, it, it's been a ride, bro. It's been a journey, dog, and it's only getting better, you heard me? So I'm, I'm loving it, you heard me? Yes, bro, sir. Bro. Yes, sir. Man, we tech, we've been waiting. I've been knowing y'all for, like I said, before we started, I've been knowing him for about two, two and a half years. And, man, we've been shouting you out, man. So tell us what it's like being home and and, and, and how it was going through those. Because you were gone for what? Was how, how many years were you gone for? It was, it was a little while. About six and a half. Yeah. Too long, man. Too long, <laughs> man. So tell me yeah. how you stayed. How did you stay? Yeah. How did you stay focused while you were while you were down? And then what's it like being home and back back to uh you know back to the UNLV things? Man, to be honest with you, I I, I stayed focused by you know keeping myself busy with school, you know working out. And uh, they give us tablets now, you know, while we was locked up. So I would download a, a lot of instrumentals and just write music all the time. That's what my day consisted of, man. Writing music, working out, and school. Just trying to stay in a positive lane. You know, in, in, uh, in Texas, it's kind of different from Louisiana where I'm from because you really have to earn your way out. You know, like in, in Louisiana, if you get... 10 years, you're going to do five and come home. But, you know, in Texas, you you really don't know when you're getting out unless you discharge your time. So basically my, my whole motive was when I, when I went in to just kind of leave there a better person than I was when I came, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and give, give the parole board more reasons to tell me yes than, than to say no. So I just stayed out the way, stayed out of trouble. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So y'all, I'm gonna get to you. Let me ask you. So what's it like having him home and getting back to the UNLV stuff? Because like I said, we've been talking about this for. I've been knowing you for two years, so we've been screaming, you know, free tech for two years ever since I've known you. And we've been doing our interviews. So what's it like having him home? It's it's amazing to have him back, dog. But what's what's even better to have him back? Oh, uh, the way that he came back, you know what I'm saying? Like a rehabilitated mind, body, and soul. You know what I'm saying? It was like a a, a a whole nother original. You know what I'm saying? Not not a, a take off flex, really. You know what I'm saying? And it was an advanced type fella that I met. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, six and a half years. We've been we've been. I've been jokesing him. You know, going to see him all the time, whatever. But in reality, you know, we we both. We're not the same that we was six years ago. You right. know what I'm saying? We, we had to get to know each other over. So, I mean, for us, him being the, the new man he is, that I, you know, I applaud that. And as, as well as when he came home, you know, around the time he came home, I know a lot of our fans and, you know, I know you know what was going on with me personally. You know what I'm right. saying? I had lost my wife in September and he came home like the next month. I mean, I mean, I... I couldn't have used him at a, at a better time for support. You feel me? Facts. Facts, yeah. So it, 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 it's, it's all real, bro. Yeah, yeah. Now, check. O'Shea and I have been kicking it strong for a minute now. O'Shea doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. O'Shea is a professional model. Attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea.